quick video to talk about how some solid cloud creates connections between parts. You know, many finite element systems, it's very difficult sometimes to create connections in parts that don't align quite right. If they have a small gap or an overlap or a penetration. SimSolid is much more tolerant. So let's look at this model here. I have a, a, a couple of parts and they're connected in different ways. Here is completely aligned. Here is an, a very large overlap, a somewhat smaller overlap, and then a complete gap between the parts. All four of these conditions can be handled in SimSolid uh, uh, very easily. Let's, let's show you how. Let's go to SimSolid Cloud. Let's go into our modeling environment. And here are those same parts I've brought in. To create the contacts, to connect the, con the connections, I can do it automatically. I need to specify a gap and a penetration tolerance. And in this case, since I have a pretty large gap in penetration, I made it a little bit bigger. The idea is to make it just slightly larger than the largest area you're trying to connect. So six should do it, and I can say find. And here are my connections. So it did find four connections in those areas, in spite of the fact it was a little bit overlapped there and it even gapped here. And we can do a quick analysis to see what that looks like. Uh, I've got um, a constraint on this side here, and then I just, I'm pulling I'm pushing down the top here and let's uh, let's just try to load that up and see what happens. Solve that. Okay, so in spite of the fact that that's a, those are pretty uh, nasty load paths, uh, some solid can uh, find that quite easily.